a.k.a. Phil Kojo, the art marshalist. What's up, everybody? So, for this week's episode, I am just going to show my process of drawing figures and uh, touch on one point perspective towards the end of this episode. Um, now, what you see here is me drawing a figure in the Marvel style, as described in the uh, book, the famous book, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way, created by Stan Lee and uh, Jonathan Simmer, God Rest Their Souls. And um, so, you know, that was one of the first books that I came across when I was a lot younger and uh, was drawing comics alongside of my neighborhood friends. and. Uh, as I got older, I decided to jump into, uh, well, I was an art major in college, but then decided that uh, I would give comics a fair shake, and I found myself going back to this book. Since then, I've gone on to study other artists, um, taken other courses, and, you know, I've, I've accumulated, you know, this, this, this sort of database of, of drawing figures and backgrounds and comics and you know I still find myself coming back to this book because not only are the illustrations great we're talking about John Simma you know, he's, he's one of the legendary comic artists in, in Marvel comic book history and um, right but not only is it a, is it a well illustrated book but the material is actually pretty solid you know I mean they go over everything from simply laying out figures where you basically see what I'm doing right here this is pretty much the process. You draw a stick figure, you throw on a sphere for the head, a sphere for the rib cage, and for the pelvis, and uh, up in the upper right hand, uh, this is their process for drawing the face. And uh, yeah, I should have drawn, drawn a female, but uh, this is good enough, I mean, you get it. But yeah, so, you know, even, even uh, you know, my older sister actually had this book when I was growing up, and I thumbed through it uh, quite a few times, but I never really dove into it until 2006, and like I said, you know, I've gone on to study other books, and I still find myself coming back to this, and I just love the process, you know. So for anybody who wants to jump into this, I highly recommend this book because I feel like it's pretty easy to pick up, and I mean, you know, we're talking 10, 11, 12. This is this is uh, a pretty solid challenge. I don't. I think it would stretch you just good enough, but you know, the information is solid enough for anybody to just start out or, or to just go back and, and, you know, beat the rust out, you know what I mean? Because ultimately, in this, in this art world, it's all about the journey, right? And, and uh, the process is very, very important. And the simpler the process, the better, right? Which takes me to this next illustration which I'm doing here. And this is, um, um, you know, Gwen Bilku, who's uh, an art director for Tiny Toons Adventure. He uh, had some some courses that he put out, and this is something that I picked up from him, and also from a Michael Hampton figure drawing book. Highly recommend you to check out those sources too. And um, essentially, the arrows on the left indicate how you draw lines. And what's cool is that that's technically, according to them, the fundamental principle of animation. Because when you draw a line, you know, the lines are directing the viewer's eyes through whatever it is that we observe, right? And so you see on the, on the right hand side, I'm using the same process to lay out the gesture of the figure before we're going in and, and building an actual structure. And uh, the structure that I'm using is um, borrowed from another artist, Andrew Loomis, who uh, I think is uh, another really good artist who has produced uh, really, really, uh, really important books as far as, you know, advancing yourself in an art career. I mean, you know, you can, you can name your favorite artists, right? My favorite artists are Lionel Hugh and Alex Ross, just to name a couple. And, you know, Alex Ross actually did the, I don't know if he did the forward, I think he did the forward for one of Andrew Nancy's books, you know, legendary artists. Just to give you an idea of the, the depths of knowledge that Andrew Lewis gives in his books. And so um, 
here is a, a technique for his version of drawing figures that's a little bit more sophisticated, but his version is actually a lot more, um, uh, it, 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 it lines up better with actual anatomy. And so it's a little bit more advanced in how to draw comics the Marvel way. And uh, once I found this book, thanks to a good friend of mine, Sam, um, and, you know, George Brinson is another guy, Sam told me about I love him, him too. But once I found this book, I found that I was better able to express whatever uh, scenes, whatever ideas, whatever images I had in my head. And so Andrew Loomis is the artist of the week because this one point perspective drawing was brought to you by him. Uh, God rest his soul. His book was published in the early 1900s, early, early to mid 1900s, I think. So the dude's been long dead, you know, and um, his book is still, you know, it's still providing so much assistance for artists nowadays. And so there's this process. It's similar to how to draw comics from all the way, but um, in this particular case, he actually breaks down this process and uh, figure drawing for all it's worth. So go check that book out. And uh, in that book, he's, he's breaking down the figure to eight heads, which is, I believe, the superheroic proportions. But uh, I don't really get too tied up in the technicalities of it. This is just what I use for all my figures. But what's cool about it is you can draw frontward facing figures like I've done here, and you can use the divisions, the eight divisions of the heads, and draw them back into perspective, right? And technically, um, how to draw comics in Marvel way touches on how, how you can draw the, the actual comic characters in perspective. And it's, it's it does a pretty good job for an introductory level, in my opinion. But Andrew Lewis takes it a couple of steps further in that not only can you draw a figure back into perspective, but you'll see here in a moment, um, using this technique, you can actually use the height of the same figure to create a scale for other figures that you want to draw off in the distance. And so I felt like it was important to touch on this this week because ultimately I feel like if you want to get into sequential art, if you want to become a storyboard artist, if you want to get into comic book art, the better that you can handle drawing backgrounds, right? The better that you can handle perspective, the easier life will be for you, and the more fun that you can have because you won't feel like, you know, I can only speak for myself. You know, I felt like the handcuffs were taken off once I better understood this stuff. And so, um, you know, and so what I'm doing here is uh, drawing two discs for the pelvis, which is the Andrew Loomis uh, technique, and uh, still draw an uh, egg shape for the rib cage, the head, and then you draw sort of like a triangular sheet that goes over the rib cage in the front and back. But I'm also fleshing this out uh, by adding cylinders for the arms, the legs, and uh, going in and defining the mid, the mid part of the chest and really uh you know adding a little bit more details here and there and so what you're going to see is the trick that uh I, I referred to last week and um, that is to place an object draw that object in perspective and then use the scale of that object to essentially copy something of the same scale or copy that same object but in this case we're talking about humans and so uh you know, guys, I just wanted to hold off on drawing buildings this week and uh, just sort of give you a, a, a quick look into how I draw my figures. So uh, stay tuned for next week. We'll be back on Sunday evening and uh, I will promise to draw you an actual scene with uh, maybe one or two characters involved. So um, as of always, be safe. Have yourselves a great week. I'll see you next weekend, and uh, oh, before I forget, always feel free to stop by my Facebook page at The Art Martialist Designs on Facebook, and my Instagram page is philco underscore joe with a lowercase p. Take care.